Hello everyone, welcome to Rasa's Classroom. Today we are solve a interesting mass Olympiad question, which is a plus b plus c is equal to 6, a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 18, square root a plus square root b plus square root c is equal to 4, a b c is equal to what? How to solve this interesting mass Olympiad question? So our math solution. First of all, this is our first equation and this is our second equation and this is our third equation. Now, I take our first equation which is A plus B plus C is equal to 6. This is our first equation. Then I use both sides whole square. So it will be A plus B plus C bracket power is 2 is equal to 6 to the power 2. I use both sides whole square. So according to this identity, we know that A plus B plus C whole square, it will be A square plus B square plus C square plus 2 times AB plus bc plus ca is equal to 6 square it will be 36 then at this moment you can easily a square plus b square plus c square which is 18 our second equation so i put this below here i substitute this below 18 plus 2 times ab plus bc plus ca is equal to 36 then i move this below this side so it will be 2 times ab plus bc plus ca is equal to 36 minus 18 i just move on this below in this side it will be negative 18 then which is 2 times ab plus bc plus ca is equal to 18 36 minus 18 it will be 18 then if i divide both side by 2 we are find out 2 to cancel out it will be a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 9 this is our fourth equation we are find out a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 9 now i take our third equation which is square root a plus square root b plus square root c so i take our third equation which is square root a plus square root b plus square root c is equal to 4. now again i use both side whole square so which is square root a plus square root b plus square root c bracket power is 2 is equal to 4 to the power 2 i use both side whole square now you can see that it will be again a square plus b square plus square root c whole to the power 2 plus 2 ab square root a times square root b it will be square root ab plus square root bc plus square root ca is equal to 16 4 squared will be 16 now at this moment you can see really this is a this is b and this is c square is cancel out then this is 2 times square root ab plus square root bc plus square root ca is equal to 16 now a plus b plus c is equal to what so our first equation which is a plus b plus c is equal to 6 this is our first equation so i take this 6 here so which is 6 plus 2 times square root a plus square root bc plus square root ca is equal to 16 then you can see really it will be 2 times square root ab plus square root bc plus square root ca 
is equal to 16 minus 6. Now, which is 2 times square root AB plus square root BC plus square root CA is equal to 10. 16 minus 6, it will be 10. Then if I divide again both sides by 2, we will find out square root AB plus square root BC plus square root CA, which is 5. This is our fifth equation. Square root AB plus square root BC plus square root CA is equal to 5. Now, again, I use both sides whole square. So, it will be square root AB plus square root BC plus square root CA is equal to 5. Now, I use both sides whole square. So, at this moment, you can see it will be, again, I apply this mass formula. So, it will be S square plus B square plus C square. C is square root CA plus 2BC. BC is square root AB and it will be BC plus 2 a B and here is B C B is B C and C is C A plus this is C A times square root A B then is equal to 5 square which is 25. Now at this moment you can see that it will be A B square root cancel this is B C plus C A is equal to 2. Now you can see here is square root a b c is common. So if I take square root a b c is common. So here is square root b is here is 2 square root b I take is common. So it will be 1 and this is square root c and this is square root a is equal to 25. Now a b plus b c plus c is equal to what? So our fourth equation which is uh, AB plus BC plus C is equal to 9. So I take this 9 here plus 2 times square root ABC and square root B plus square root C plus square root A. This is our third equation, which is uh, 4. So I take this 4 here. So it will be 4 is equal to 25. Now, at this moment, you can see that it will be 9 plus 2 times 4, it will be 8 square root ABC is equal to 25. Then here, 8 square root ABC is equal to 25 minus 9. I just move on this positive 9 in this side, it will be negative 9. Now, 8 square root ABC is equal to 16. Then if I divide both sides by 8, we will find out here is a square root a, b, c. 16 divide 8, it will be 2. This, this cancel out. Now I use both sides whole square. So you can see easily it will be a, b, c, which is 4. So this is our sixth equation. a, b, c is equal to 4. So we'll find out ABC is equal to 4 and AB plus BC plus CA, which is 9. Then our uh, first equation A plus B plus C, which is 6. Now at this moment, let, let ABC, ABC, the root abc the root of cubic equation so now we know that the cubic equation formula abc are the roots of cubic equations so we know that the cubic equation formula it will be x cube minus a plus b plus c 
times x square plus a b plus b c plus c a times x minus a b c now if i apply this mass formula we'll find out a nice cube equation which is x cube okay this is x cube minus a plus b plus c which is six this is x square and this is a b plus b c plus c a this is nine so it will be nine x a b c it will be four is equal to zero now how to solve this cubic equation so you can solve this cubic equation easy method first of all if you think x is equal to one so you can see it will be one cube minus six times one plus nine times one minus four and you can see it will be nine plus one it will be ten minus six plus four it will be ten this is zero so at this moment you can see we'll uh, we'll find out one factor in this cubic equation it will be x minus one x minus one is the one factor in this cubic equation so because of that left hand side and right hand side both sides is equal when i put this one in this cubic equation so you can see here is x minus one is a factor so this is x cube but this is x so i take here is x square so x square times x it will be x cube x square times minus one it will be minus x square but remember that this is six x square but this is x square so i need another five x square so this is six x square it is balanced now i take here is negative five i take here is x minus one i take our factor so this is five x square so i take here is five x because of that five x times x it will be five x square five x times one it will be positive 5x but remember that here is 9x but this is 5x so our need 4x so 4x plus 5x this is 9x now at this moment i take here is x minus 1 so i take here is 4 4 times x it will be positive 4x 4 times 1 it will be negative 4 so both are balanced so the equality is easily here is x minus 1 is a 1 factor in this cubic equation. So here is x minus 1 is common. So if I take x minus 1 is common, this divide this, this is x square. This divide this, this is minus 5x. And this divide this, this is plus 4. So we will find out a nice quadratic equation. Then you can see here is x minus 1 is equal to 0. And other cubic equation, which is x square, sorry, quadratic equation, 5x plus 4 equal to zero so here is x is equal to one i just move on this one in this side it will be positive one but here is x is equal to one so if i do middle factor here so you can see this is x square minus four x minus x four times one it will be four but four plus one it will be five this is positive four is equal to zero now here is x is common so if i take x is common so x squared divide x it will be x 4x divide x it will be 4 the negative 1 is common so it is x minus 4 is equal to 0. now you can see here is x minus 4 is common so it will be x minus 1 is equal to 0. so we will find out here is x is equal to 4 and another x which is 1. so we will find out our final answer here is x is equal to 1, x2 is equal to 4, x3 is equal to 1. Now a, b, c is equal to what? So you can see here is a, comma v, comma c. When a is equal to 1 and this is 4 and this is 1. Again, you can see it, it will be 4, 1, 1. And again, you can see it will be 1, 1, 4. So this is our final answer in this mass Olympiad question. This is the value of A, B, C in this mass problem. If you enjoy this mass Olympiad question, please subscribe my channel for other interesting video. Goodbye. Take care everyone. Have a good day.